everyone, it's Tammy Mastroverde with Elevated Existence, and I am tackling a topic today that I think confuses so many people. Why do I think that? Because I hear the question all the time, and I get the question all of the time. It's when you're trying to manifest something, when you're desiring something, how are you supposed to want it and desire it, but let it go? What does it mean to let go of the outcome? If I'm supposed to visualize it every day, how is that letting go? It's so confusing. And I think so many people struggle with really trying to understand what the heck does that mean? And how do I fit that into my life in order to manifest, attract, allow, whatever. And I, I, I really racked my brain about it for a long time because when I had first heard that too, I thought, you know, well, doesn't, isn't that a little counterintuitive? I mean, I'm supposed to want something, but I'm supposed to not want it at the same time. So I, I came up with, I came up with something that really helped me get my head around it. And so I want to share it with you because maybe it can help you as well. So when we're talking about manifesting something or wanting and desiring something, and then bringing it and attracting it to us. When we're talking about letting go of that outcome or letting go of the end result, I believe we're talking about two different things that have to be present. Number one, you have to surrender it. You have to want it and desire it, but you need to surrender to the outcome. Number two, you need to find a way to be happy now, even though you don't have it yet. So you can still visualize every day, you can feel that end result, you can be grateful for it, but these two things have to be present. So let me explain to you a little bit more about what I mean. So you have to, number one, you have to surrender it. You have to surrender. So that doesn't mean that you don't desire or want this change in your life. That doesn't mean that you don't sit and visualize it and picture that end result, feel amazing about it, and, and, you know, and look forward to it coming. What it means is you have to surrender the how, the when, the where, all of the details that we get so attached to. We get attached to the exact way that we think it should show up. We get attached to the exact events that should be happening, when it should be happening, where it should be happening, what exactly it's going to look like when it comes into our life. When you're doing that, you're blocking things from coming in. You're not in a state of allowing, you're in a state of cutting off of the flow. Because what you have to understand is what you want may not be exactly what the universe is trying to send to you. And it may be something even better, but because you're so focused, you're so dialed in to exactly how it's supposed to happen or exactly what it is you want, you are missing the signals that could be coming to you to point you in the direction to that or something even more. You're missing it because you're so focused on this is what I want and, and this is how it's going to come to me. That's why when I say you're manifesting, the biggest thing is don't worry about the how. Don't in your mind visualize how it's going to happen. Just visualize the end result. But the key to this whole surrendering is this particular line is what I want you to remember. I am so grateful for this or something better. And then you let it go. Because the universe knows way more than you do about what is awesome for you. Your mind can't even conceive some of the amazing things. Think about where you are now. When you were younger, did you ever think you'd be where you were now? Did you ever think you'd be in a situation you were in now? Whatever it is, the job, maybe you're proud of something in your life. Maybe you have children that you're proud of. Did you ever imagine some of the amazing things in your life? Probably not. When I look back, sometimes I think I, would, I can't imagine that I started a company. I can't imagine I started my own magazine. I can't imagine I quit a full-time job to do it. And I certainly can't imagine that I'm sitting here talking to you right now in this video. I would have never imagined this. So I know that I can't even imagine how awesome my life is going to be later. You have to surrender. You have to want it, desire it, picture that end result, but always end it with, 
this or something. I am open and allowing this or something better. And that's where you let go because it can come in in a completely different way. But if you're blocking it and you're not allowing it, it's not going to flow into you. And it's certainly not going to flow into you very easily. So that's the first piece is desiring but surrendering. The second piece, and this is another critical piece that I want you to wrap your head around. You can want something better. You can be, you can want a better job. You can want to bring in more money so you can pay off your bills. You can desire that your health be different than it is and that you heal yourself. You can desire and want all of these things. You can picture the end results of it. But you have to find a way to be happy now, despite the fact that you don't have it yet. Why is that so important? Because we're talking about the vibration and the signals that you're giving off. When we want something desperately and we're miserable in the situation that we're in now, when we're staring at the bills that we have to pay and we're miserable about it and we're just, we're desperate for help. When you're sending off that energy to the universe, you're blocking it. You're completely blocking it. You cannot manifest from a place of misery. You cannot manifest from this desperate, needing, wanting state. You can only manifest when you're feeling good. So you have to let go of that attachment. Let go of that desperate energy, that misery that you're living in now that you're unhappy with. You have to find a way to let go so that you can allow the universe to bring in. The universe is attracting to you what you're putting out. If you're putting out misery, you're going to get misery back. If you're putting out a focus on debt and the, and the desperation of needing money, you're blocking the flow of the money coming back in. You have to find a way to be grateful for what you, what you have now. I don't care if you're sitting with mounds of bills. Be grateful that you can pay one of them now right now. Be grateful that your refrigerator is stocked with food. Be grateful that you have a job and you have money to put in your car to go to work every day. Find the gratitude and find a way to be content. Content where you are. Knowing that something better is coming. So I want you to surrender this or something better and be completely detached from how it's going to come in. From the how, the where, the when, the why, you don't, that's not of your concern. That's the universe's concern. And the universe knows way better than you do. Trust me. And number two, find a way to be happy and content where you are so that you can allow it to flow back into your life. To me, that is what people mean when they say let go of the outcome. Let go of the, you know, the, the, the end result. You, you have to just surrender, allow, you can desire, but be happy where you are or it's never going to flow back to you. And so those are my two tips when it comes to letting go of that outcome or letting go when we're talking about manifesting or changing anything in our life. I truly hope that this helped you and gave you a little bit of an aha and a little bit of a better understanding of what people mean when they say that. That's basically what I believe that means and what I've seen for myself in my own life where I've actually seen the shifts. And so I do hope that that helps you. And please always email me, leave a comment, send a message, and let me know what you got from this and if you have any other questions. And I will see you next time.